all genres have stylistic elements. And if you can't play that genre, then you suck at that genre. And it it's okay. Hey, what's this up, y'all? Daquan here with DaquanBones.com, here to help musicians take their playing to the next level. Last week, I made a video called uh, Why Gospel Musicians Suck at CCM, and it got <laughs> some different responses. Uh, most of it was good, and people who actually listened through the video and got the context understood what I was saying, right? And then you got some people who just heard a few words and it just went in in the comments. <laughs> I love it though. I appreciate the feedback from everybody. Um, because of the feedback that I got, I wanted to do why a video on why CCM musicians suck at gospel. A lot of people ask what was CCM. Uh, CCM is a, a genre of music and it stands for uh, contemporary Christian music, right? It's a style of music that a lot of people are familiar with. Um, so I had to write some of these down. Like, um, I have experience both in playing in a CCM church and playing in gospel churches, right? And they both have uh, pros and cons, right? So uh, before we get into the video, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Uh, all right, so let's get into the video, okay? All right, so the first thing that I've experienced with CCM musicians, right, is that they think simple means worship, right? Uh, so, you know what I'm saying? If I'm playing like this, right, that, that, okay, that means that, oh, all right, I can't, I can't hear, I can't experience the in the worship service or whatever, right? But that's just not the case. It's really about playing the gig, if you will. Like in in gospel churches, they're not used to just hearing just just that much space in between chords. <laughs> just keep it a hundred, right? Right? They're, they're used to hearing a lot more color, right? And this is a term that a lot of people get mistaken, like get wrong, uh, and it's pocket, right? A lot of people think pocket means <laughs> play simple or, or just play, you know, simple harmony or whatever, and just kind of just leave a lot of space. And that's not what pocket means. Pocket means playing the stylistic elements of the genre right? You got to sound like the genre, right? So diminished chords are gospel, right? So if you're not playing diminished chords, then you're out of pocket, right? If you're playing sus chords in CCM, you're in the pocket, right? It's not always about how many notes you're playing. It's what you're playing, the type of sounds you're using, all that stuff, all right? Okay, so that's the first one. All right, let me let me get the paper. I just wrote these down, so I don't want to uh, forget them. All right, here's a here's an important one right here. They can't sound full without tracks. <laughs> and I, and I'm not like trying to be funny or anything, but in my experience, musicians who play CCM music or come from that background, they they go in straight panic mode if something happens with the track or if there's no track playing, right? In gospel, you know, we grew up in church services where it was just organ and, or just guitar and a drummer. You might even, you probably didn't even have a drummer. You probably just had someone playing tambourine, right? And it was your job to pick, to, to play that song and make it sound full as possible. They didn't care if they they would pick a James Fortune song like, all right, here, we want to sing this. And you only got a two piece band and, you know, James Fortune got like <laughs> three keyboard players, like a horn section, guitar, drum, percussion, all that. <laughs> they didn't care gospel. If they wanted to sing this song. You, It was your job to make it as big as possible. All right. And that was without tracks. Right. So that's one of the biggest thing that I, I, I see. So. CCM musicians, if you want to play gospel, you got to learn how to 
fill up the music a little more, a little bit more, because gospel bands are usually a lot smaller than CCM bands, from my experience. All right. Okay, so number three, um, they think adding their own voice to the music is a distraction from uh, you know, the worship experience. Nah, man, that's not true. That's not true. People want to hear what you have to say. For me, if the music isn't good, it 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 it's a distraction. <laughs> Period. If people are not playing skillfully, then it becomes a distraction. All right. So it's okay to add your color, your own voice, because music is an expression of ourself, right? If we've been going through it in a week, through the week, it's gonna come out in your playing, right? So I think that's a way for people to relate and connect with you so we can all be on the same page to worship together. That's just that's just my two cents on that. Right? And and here's the last one. Here's the last one. Too much technology. <laughs> like, you'll need Ableton, you'll need all these pedals, all this MIDI gear to sync up together. It's just overkill. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that is a distraction. It gets in the way. And when you have more things like that, that that creates more room for error. For in gospel churches, man, like we are so used to being on the fly that it don't matter. Like, <laughs> it does not matter. You're like, okay, there's been times where I've been giving guitar songs. I mean, this hasn't this really doesn't have to do with technology, but I've been giving guitar songs, and there's only an organ in the church. I'm like, yo. I was supposed to do this. I don't have no track that's gonna play the guitar line. I can play organ pad over it. No, I had to. I had to learn a song, and and that's if they even give it to you ahead of time. I had to learn the song, um, like all in right off of before service start, and I had to hear it, hear how they playing on a guitar, change it to organ, because they gonna want it to sound like the record. I'm like, okay. Right. So anyway, I, I, it's more of a rant video. Um, these videos are not to like talk about uh, people who play a certain style of music. Nothing is better. One is, isn't better than the other. It's just about really playing the gig. And like I said in the other video, being intentional about uh, what you're doing in the moment. That is the key to being great at genres. All genres have stylistic elements. And if you can't play that genre, then you suck at that genre. It is okay to suck at a genre. I, I can't play everything well, all right? But that means there's room for me to grow, all right? So, all right, let me know what y'all think in this video. This is more chopping it up than actual playing, all right? So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, subscribe, share, comment below your thoughts, and I will see you very soon. Peace.